Some of our procedures might be controversial to some people. Uh, it's definitely different than, you know, being in a small setting when you have to have a hundred clones. You might be a little bit more prone to detail. Decided we used to cut a 45 and then in the middle, but we've noticed and then a 45 cut, a horizontal cut, but it took a lot of time for my employees to do that. For you to do two cuts, it's definitely you know longer the time. Uh, we did some side by sides and we noticed that it was the same rooting time, so there's no point in doing the middle cut basically. All we do is a 45 and we go straight into the, we put it in our gel, hormones, and we put it inside. Now that's a great example on why I cut them. Look at this leaf. <laughs> you don't want that in a... No, 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 no. I, when you do mass production, when you change one thing, it changes everything. So what I opted out is, if the plant has one inch of diameter, don't cut it. Don't cut the leaves. If it's bigger than that, it's really hard for a clone, so then I'm protecting both. It's really hard for a clone with big leaves and a 78 tray. Can you imagine the foliage in a, here, when I put 78 inside, it's too much foliage. Learn how to cut down uh, in unnecessary procedures, uh, like the cut I just told you, or, you know, because we, we do, each one of my cloners does about 1,500 a day. So we've learned how to do everything fast and efficient and well done. Okay, so after the clone is, after the tray is in, in its dome, we put, um, we put some nutrients, get them a little bit of moist, get some, some moisture in there, and then the clones come into my big dome room. Okay, so this is my dome manager. Uh, we eliminated domes from our facility because they were definitely a hassle, an unwanted hassle, as most of you that work with domes, um, you wipe them, you burp them, you, it's just a pain in the butt. So we decided to make our own dome with a room. Each rack that you see, it's about 7,500 clones rooting at one time. Um, we put our clones inside, here I'll show you. We put them in directly. We label them with abbreviations, my cloner's name, the date, and where they come from. And we wait for the magic to happen. Uh, 12 days, usually. The first thing we do is check our humidity and our temperature. We have an agua fog. Great humidifiers, definitely industrial. Um, we have three in this room. No, four, sorry. One, two, three, and four. We're usually at from 88 to 90 humidity, and temperature, we try to set it at 77, constant. And we have different temperature meters and humidity meters along the room. I started this facility with, uh, you know, very little income. So I decided to buy lights at Amazon. They're $5 lights, very small, two feet shop lights, and they do the job just fine. 
Uh, the racks, they send them like that to me and I have to build them myself. And the reason why we bought these were just because they were cost efficient and did exactly what we needed. Um, now I want to make irrigation better, but I don't want to throw away my nice racks. So I'm adapting my irrigation to my racks without having to pay thousands and thousands of dollars. And I could still produce in this room alone 120,000 clones rooting at one time. They're in here, depending on the strain, we give them about 12 days and then we check if there's enough roots. Our clones start um, drying up more, the trays, and that's when the girls, they'll check on the date and they'll be like, okay, this was cloned on the 11th. It's time for me to check it. It's been 11 days, 12 days, I'll start checking. If 80% of the tray is rooted, the girls will pop open, pop each one hand by hand and make these trays that are ready to go out. So these are all rooted. One by one is a clone, rooted clone. These are ready to go out. They're not sent like this to the client by any means. They're just ready to leave the room. They're ready to go. When you have such mass production, for us it's, it's pretty good. This is kind of small. I don't like this. I would tell my girls don't bring it outside. But like this one, yes. This is perfect for me. It's a nice little clone. You put this one in the ground and it's ready to make miracles. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> so after the dome room, we come out here. The girls bring these clones to Bibian. She's my, uh, she does a lot here. She takes care of the clones. She prepares them for clients. She takes care of all the orders. She makes sure that clients are happy. Uh, she labels, she puts them in boxes and she takes them out. I mean, it's a one man team. It's amazing what she can do. She prepares up to 30,000 clones in one week by herself. Uh, sometimes she has even up to 40,000 and it's all a one man team here. <laughs> so she could explain to you a little bit of what she does. So I basically check that all the clones are standing up. That means that they are all rooted. We never take something that it's not rooted, but sometimes they will um, they will fall. So if that happens, I'll just take out the clone. But this one looks pretty nice. So I'll just check like for leaves that don't look like nice, and I'll take them out. Check that it has a label, and basically this is what we're looking for, a tray, like a final tray. So I'll just leave it like with all the, the, the same strain, and I'll be checking on them like every day, just to make sure they're good until the day they live. And one day before they live to the customer, I'll check every tray again, one more time, just to make sure they're okay. So this is how they should be. Like when we need to complete an order, they have to be here waiting till the order is complete. So when that happens, I'll just let them know that the customer can receive their clones and they're ready to go. We'll get a box and they'll be ready to go. And they'll get also a name, the box, and they're gonna be ready. I don't have it. That's what happens. And after it, not only does she do quality control, she's also making our new moms. Uh, we always wanna, there's always moms that, you know, can die faster or, you know, we cut them too aggressively and they didn't regenerate properly. Or we have, a, you know, more mom production because we have to have certain numbers. We have certain, I think we have like 160,000 clones ordered for one month next month. So I'm making more moms. So she's the one that knows how many moms need to be produced. She grabs the clones and transplants them into Oh, can you guys follow me? Into little, into little quarter gallons, and she puts them in here. 
and she'll call, tell them, hey, your plant, your clones are, I mean, your teens are ready to get transplanted. So that's what we do here.